Hey everyone, welcome to FilterGrade. Today we're talking about custom workspaces in Premiere Pro so you can optimize your workflow and finish your projects faster. Pretty much every Adobe program lets you customize your workspace to make the software work better for you. This is super important in Premiere Pro for big workflows because you want a vastly different layout depending on if you're editing, color grading, working with audio, or doing something else entirely. Each Adobe app, including Premiere Pro, is made from panels that can be moved, removed, replaced, and resized. When you adjust the size or position of one panel, the others around it will automatically adjust to make everything fit. Premiere Pro comes included with several workspaces by default, such as for editing and for color work. Clicking on one of them will switch the layout. To edit which workspaces show up at the top of your screen, simply click on the menu next to any layout and click on Edit Workspaces. Here, you can adjust the order of the workspaces or move them to the Do Not Show category if you don't use them at all. You can drag the bar on the right side of this section to change how many workspaces appear at the top of the screen. Importantly, you can customize your own workspaces and then save them. You can dock panels together, move them in and out of groups, or undock them entirely so that they float above the main application. To move a panel, just click on a blank area in the panel or directly on the name itself. Hold the mouse button, then drag the panel around. As you do, docking zones will become highlighted. These blue areas are locations where the panel can be dropped. They are available on all sides of an existing panel. When you drop in a panel this way, it will split that window space in two equal halves, not changing the overall size of that area. The rest of your panels will not be adjusted. In addition to dragging around panels like this, you can hold the control key while dragging a panel around and it will pop out as a window above Premiere Pro. This is great if you have a second monitor or want to easily be able to pop up this window over everything else. And of course, you can add other tabs to this window if you like. When you save a workspace that has another window on a second monitor, that configuration will be saved in the workspace. To instead add a panel as another tab, rather than an entirely independent panel, you can drop it into the highlighted center area of any window instead of on the sides. You can accomplish the same thing by dragging it to the tab area where all of the tabs are listed. When tabs are grouped together like this, you can also click and drag tabs around to reorder them. But not every panel in Premiere Pro is active by default. To add one that isn't currently visible to you, click on the window menu and select the window you want to add. It will automatically add to your workspace, then you can move it around however you prefer. If you're customizing your workspace, you'll probably also want to resize your newly created panels. When you hover over the space between two panels, you'll see your mouse cursor change to a double arrow symbol, and you can click and drag the space to adjust the size of the two panels. As this makes one panel larger, the other one will of course get smaller. If you position your cursor over the intersection of three or more panels, you can click and drag to adjust all of them at once. If you want to permanently close a window, click on its menu and click on Close Panel. If the closed panel was the only one in the group, the surrounding panels will readjust to fill this space. If you need to bring it back, just click on the window button up top again and reactivate it. Once you're happy with your new workspace layout, you can click on Window, Workspace, Save as New Workspace. Give this workspace a name and it will show up on the list of spaces which once again, you can rearrange if you'd like. If you've completely ruined your saved workspace beyond belief and can't figure out how to get back to it, click on the menu next to the desired workspace and click on Reset to save layout. What sort of workspace you end up creating with these tools is up to you, but Premiere Pro makes it very easy to customize your workspaces to have an optimal workflow for different tasks, and even create a sprawling workflow across multiple monitors. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.